many, young and old, 2020 will be the toughest year of our lives. The lives of people have changed forever. I looked outside and it looked like doomsday. This was the year it happened. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Local officials in Wuhan did withhold information. Nothing compares with this. It's a different world. This virus shows no deference to rank or privilege. We thought we were going to go into the problem. We didn't realize we were going to be the problem. Then I see the disinfectant. Donald Trump wants his nation back to work. You pick the 26,000 people who are going to die. You come in here for a couple of days. This is worse things than death. Stop hoarding. I can't be more blunt about it. Stop it. Bradley Edwards was transported back to his prison cell, a convicted murderer. This will be hard and difficult news for Australians to absorb. This is a grossly disturbing set of events. The knock at the door came and there were six state security police. Does the government know why she's been detained? Every single one of those projects was eligible for funding. Let me finish, OK? It's his agenda. I don't think it's a particularly Australian agenda. Of course there's a lot of stuff that has. Police deny using live ammunition. Terror strikes a French city again. Fly crimes are just a ball of flames, however. The final moments of flight PK8303. It was silence. I didn't know the magnitude. I didn't know that the whole nation had already stopped. Bond. James Bond. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. All I ask of our brethren is that they take their feet off our necks. I can't breathe. The public come out and actually say that this is not acceptable. They are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge. Time's up on the pervasive culture of silence. Maxwell's arrest means some justice for survivors. Can I just start before I do that? While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. We did it. We did it, Joe. This is a fraud on the American public. We're seeing all over this nation, indeed across the world, renewed faith in tomorrow. It's easier to tell your kids character matters. Being a good person matters. There have been chinks of light that have shone through even the darkest of times. We're going into space to stay. The largest vaccination drive in history. Now the world will be watching. 2020 has been a very challenging year and I can't wait for it to finish. Know the story with ABC News. I've got one. Uh, Today's an average Wednesday, which isn't too bad. Okay, you're it. Cheers. Adios. See ya. I'm so spoiled. My chooks are right on my doorstep. Hi, Dad. Our daughter Saskia provides us with our chooks, so we don't have very far to go. Simon and I will be cooking chook today. Two very different ways, I suspect. I hate to waste anything in jelly coxcombs. <laughs> Just stepping in here fills me with deep joy and a calm contentment. The Queen of Cuisine is back with a delicious new series. I believe that the kitchen can be both a sanctuary and a pleasure palace. There's fresh new recipes. Sea specimens are destined for my chocolate tahini pudding cake. That'll make your mouth water. So gorgeous. This is what cooking is all about. Nigella's Cook, Eat, Repeat. Tonight on ABC TV and streaming on iview. I'm Matt O'Kine. 
comedian. Act. Say goodbye to soggy crackling. We're hitting the kitchen with Hayden Quinn. He's going to show you how to master crispy, crunchy crackling with a side of roast pork. My good buddy Alice is going to show you how to cook pasta to the Journey to the heart of Australia. This is our most expansive ecosystem, the enormous Red Centre. Baked by the scorching sun and miraculously transformed by the driving rain. Experience one of the most unforgiving landscapes on the planet. It's been changing slowly over millions of years. Australia Remastered Red Centre, Monday 8.30 or stream from the start on ABC iView. There really is a quite serious situation that we're worried about. Get the latest information and updates from every region in one place. SES, for all urgent people, just don't drive. Head to the ABC emergency website and stay connected. Goodbye 2020. Australia welcomes in a new year with subdued celebrations as hopes of a fresh start are dampened by new COVID outbreaks. I think we've, we've reached the low of the low, but now it can only go up. That's my perspective. Gatherings cut and masks back on. Victoria responds to new virus cases. The New South Wales Premier stays the course in the face of growing pressure to take tougher action. Travellers rush to the borders as Victoria and South Australia shut the door to New South Wales. Australians, oh, let us rejoice. Advance Australia fairer, the national anthem lyrics rewritten in the spirit of unity. A very good morning and Happy New Year to you. It is Friday, the 1st of January. I'm Iskandar Razak. I'm Madeline Morris. You're watching News Breakfast. Australia has farewelled a year dominated by COVID-19, but celebrations marred by outbreaks in Victoria and New South Wales. Sydney welcomes 2021 with a fireworks display over a mostly empty harbour, with people across the city told to stay home and watch on TV. News I just can't take my eyes, I just can't take my eyes, I just can't take my eyes off of you. It's the way that I feel when I'm looking at you, doing the things that you do. You're mad. So I'm mad. You're mad. We're all mad. Good evening and welcome to News at Six. Last thing I need right now is to get involved with a married woman. I've got my reputation to think of. What do you know about what I want to achieve? Let's just pretend that we live in the real world. Where else would you rather be? It's Jack. Jack or I just can't take my Tonight, all new Nigella's Cook, Eat, Repeat. Then the Vicar of Dibley in lockdown. And later, Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo, Sydney 2019. Strong, but I am. Compelling stuff. You, me, them, together. A League and W League football is on. Live and free every single weekend. The rivalries, the goals, the passion, and the drama. Who's going to make it to the finals? The A-League and W-League are back on the ABC. Live and free. Every weekend on ABC and streaming on iView. You would see that uh, being fulfilled. Um, but that is, not, that is not an obstacle at the Australian end. 
Okay, thank you all very much. I wish everybody a very happy new year. Stay safe and uh, stronger, safer together is how we cut through 2020 and it's certainly how we will emerge even more strongly in 2021. Happy New Year, Australia. Prime Minister Scott Morrison speaking there in Canberra. Firstly, about the change to one line of the national anthem. The line Young and Free has been changed to One and Free, approved by the Governor General and announced last night. The Prime Minister says it's a simple, sensible change that's been well received. Now, with regards to the pandemic, the PM says New South Wales has done extraordinarily well to get on top of the latest outbreak and good news today about the numbers. Today, three new coronavirus cases for New South Wales. Testing reveals a link between clusters. Meanwhile, Victorians rush to leave New South Wales before hard border closures come into effect. No, there was there was cars backed up all the way. No one knew what was going on. Yeah, so it was an interesting way to bring in the new year, that's for sure. Australia welcomes 2021 with subdued celebrations, hopes for a better year dampened by new COVID outbreaks. Australians, oh, let us rejoice. An historic change to the national anthem, but some say it doesn't go far enough. London's Big Ben chimes to mark the UK's departure from the European Union. Hello and welcome to ABC News. I'm Selena Edmonds. Three new locally acquired coronavirus cases have been recorded in New South Wales in the past 24 hours. Reporter Jonathan Hare has more from Sydney. There have been three new cases of COVID-19 found in New South Wales, all from Western Sydney. There were more than 32,000 test results received in the last 24 hours, up on previous figures this week. The